In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 best ChatGPT prompts to help you make money online and examples of each one. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn which ones to use and how to use them. Hi, my name is Alston Godbolt with AlstonGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pockets. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. All right, so one of the problems with ChatGPT is everyone tells you that it's a great way to make money online, but nobody tells you which prompts to use. So in this video, I put together a list of 10. If you want a complete list of 50, I have over 50 of the best prompts to use for ChatGPT located in my membership program called the House of Affiliates. If you want to get started, you can go ahead and click the first link in the description to join House of Affiliates and get these 50 prompts. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into my computer and we can take a look at the 10 best ChatGPT prompts that you can start using to help you make more money online. All right, the first one that we have here is simply act as. Now, what you want to do when it comes to ChatGPT is you want to give it some information. You want to tell it to emulate someone. And so what we're gonna do, as you can see in my computer here, we're just gonna say act as. Now I like to tell ChatGPT to act as an expert in a field. So for example, let's say I'm in the health niche, I could say act as an expert in fitness or nutrition, whatever your niche is. You wanna tell it to act as an expert in fitness and we'll say uh, wellness. Now this is going to help model ChatGPT, this is gonna help give it more information so that it knows how to answer questions because if you just give it general information, it's gonna give you general out output. But if you tell it to act as an expert in a field, it'll actually give you a little bit more information. So the first thing that you wanna do, tip number one, is act as an expert. Now, just to kind of show you the difference between the two, we could say something like, we could say list five fitness tips. Okay, and then it's going to give us pretty basic information. But then we could come back and we could say, act as an expert in fitness and wellness. And then we could say list five fitness tips, and it should give us better output. So again, these are going to be very general. But if we hit enter here, um, you can see here that first, the first sentence is different make exercise a priority um, versus in habit. So you can see things are a little bit, uh, a better output, I should say. So that's number one, act as something. The next one is what are some tips for getting the most out of ChatGPT for? This is important again, because this is going to help us get better information from Ch ChatGPT. So again, um, the second one is what are some tips for getting the most out of ChatGPT for, in this example, we are going to say, uh, what are some tips for getting the most out of ChatGPT for um, social media marketing as a fitness coach? And this is gonna give us some good questions to ask ChatGPT later so that we can better help our audience. Identify your target audience, use natural language, be specific with your questions, use ChatGPT as a supplement to your expertise, engage with your audience. So these are very good tips that are going to help us better tell ChatGPT what to do going forward. Now again, this is uh, just tip number two or, or prompt number two. Um, next, and I really like this, if you are an affiliate marketer, if you're an online coach, really if you're looking to try to make more money, uh, what are the common pain points that someone might have who is looking to purchase a product? So if, again, we're gonna copy this, and we could say, what are the common pain points that someone might have who is looking to purchase, we could say, a online fitness program. Hit enter, and then look at the output. Now. We can take this information and now we can create content. We can create YouTube videos, we can create TikTok, we can short, create blog posts addressing these problems, lack of accountability, limited access to equipment. So we could actually create a course that teaches people how to start working out at home without any equipment, Un unclear instruction. So this could actually help us model a course, help us create a better course to make sure that we have all of our bases covered. So this is a really good one for people that want to reach out and, and, and 
identify a target audience and identify some common issues that they're having and speak directly to them. Because if you can speak directly to your target audience, they're going to be more likely to buy whatever it is that you're, that you're selling. So that is number three. What are the common pain points that someone might have who is looking to purchase a product or service? Another good one is develop a bundled product offering to a specific industry that prioritizes the customer experience for target audience, address potential challenges, and provide exceptional support and after sales service. So I'm gonna copy this one in right here again. And so again, it says develop a bundled product offering to, we'll say the fitness, um, fitness niche that prioritizes the customer experience for, and then here we could say working moms. Working moms address potential challenges and provide exceptional support and after sales service. So this is great if you are an affiliate, if you are a coach, you can use this to package up a product and then offer bonuses. For example, let's say we are, uh, we're an affiliate for a, a course and then we could say okay the course is taken care of but maybe we could offer nutritional coaching so we can have them check in once or twice a week online and we can offer support online fitness classes community support so a Facebook group personalized support so maybe they could text you or or you could set up a way for them to reach out to you or, or someone within the the industry and get the help that they're looking for. This is awesome, and this works if you're an online coach, if you are selling digital products, if you're an affiliate. This is a great, a, a great prompt to use, and it can help you seal the deal. Because one of the issues with people that want to buy stuff online, that buy a course, is they feel like they're in this by themselves. They feel like they can't get the help and support that they're looking for. However, if you bundle up a course and then you provide, you know, workout plan as a bonus. Uh, you provide nutritional coaching as a bonus, you provide the online community, they're going to more likely want to buy whatever it is that you're offering. The next one that we are looking for is what are the key elements of? So again, we're going to copy this. And again, you can apply this to any industry. I'm just using fitness because I just got back from the gym. What are the key elements of uh, we could say something like uh, fitness, fitness for men over 30. We'll say men over 40. And then again, you can take this information and you can create content from it. You could include it in a sales page or a, a video sales letter. You can see that if you address some of these issues, like men over 40 are aware of how strength strength training is going to be different. Cardiovascular exercise, flexibility and mobility. You can apply this in a variety of ways. Again, you can do this with a sales funnel. You can do this on, on TikTok or YouTube or Instagram and you can be speaking directly to your target audience. So this is actually gonna work out really, really well. The next one that I really like are is what are the key elements of the marketing strategies in an industry and how could we improve our own approach? So let's copy that once again. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste this right in. What are the key elements of the marketing strategies in an industry and how could we improve our own approach? Now, we can do this two ways. We can be very general in the fitness, in fitness industry. The more information that you provide ChatGPT, the better the output's gonna be. So uh, what are the key elements of the marketing, what are the key elements of the marketing strategies in fitness? and how could we improve our own approach? Now I'm gonna do this one, and then I'm going to say fitness for men over 30, and you're gonna see that the output's actually a little bit better. So I'm gonna paste this in right quick, and then we could say fitness, uh, fitness for men over 40, and you're gonna see, again, this output's actually gonna be much better, but you can see how you could apply this. You can apply it once again, to your YouTube video. You want to create a YouTube video and you want to uh, address some pain points, you could use this, this prompt here. So again, let's take a look. The key elements of marketing strategies and fitness for men over 40 include targeting the right audience, so define your audience, personalize your approach. Men over 40 have specific health concerns. Emphasize the importance of health and wellness offer convenience and flexibility. So these all actually work out really, really well. Um, let's see. 
And the next one I like is I am looking to analyze my competition in the blank industry. Can you help me identify their strengths and weaknesses and come up with a strategy to differentiate my business? So this is great if you're looking for a way to stand out. I'm looking to analyze my competition in the fitness industry. Once again, fitness for men over 40. I'm not 40, by the way. Um, I'm looking to analyze my competition the fitness in the fitness for men over 40 industry. Can you help me identify their strengths and weaknesses and come up with a strategy to uh, differentiate my business? Now, we could do this one of two ways. Once again, we can either do this like it is, or we could actually name a competitor. So if we look at this, here are some steps to help you analyze, identify your competitors. Um, you're going to see that this is a little bit different, but the better information that you provide, the better output that you're gonna get. Another one that I really like, and we'll look at this one as soon as this one's done, but this is another great one that will help you in a few different ways, and we'll look at it in just a moment. But look at this. Communicate your unique value proposition, develop a differentiation strategy. Now what we could do is now that we have this, we could say um, list competitors, list top competitors. And then, now that it gives us a little bit more information, we can find our how we can be different and create content that way. So that's list up competitors. We could say we could say list branding for one of these Equinox Fitness, for example. But this is very good information that you can apply in different ways. Once again, this is going to help strengthen your marketing. This is going to help you with sending out emails. And speaking of emails, this one is a very good one. Create an AIDA model for industry for target audience. So this one is a very good one for emails. This one's a very good one for telling stories. So if we get rid of this one, create an AIDA model for fitness for men over 40. Men over 40. Like this. And now again, you can apply this for sending out an email. You could apply this to creating social media content. You could apply this to your sales funnel. You could apply this to your landing page. You can apply this to so many different avenues when it comes to making money online. Now, AIDA stands for attention, interest, desire, and action. So you could actually create this, turn this into an email. We can even type in something like convert into an email like this. And now we've got an email with a subject line. Now, with ChatGPT, and I wanna make sure that I stress this, you wanna make sure that you are not just copying and throwing this into an email. Read through it, make sure that this is something that is relevant and makes sense, make tweaks as needed, but don't just copy and throw this right in. But if you look at this, are you a man over 40 looking to prioritize your health? Most likely, if you're sending them an email and that's your niche, that's a very good start. Um, another great one, and the last one that we're gonna talk about today, now again, remember, I have a list of 50 ChatGPT prompts that you could apply to your business, you can find those in the House of Affiliates. It's $7 per month canceling time, but if you're looking to get help with ChatGPT, you want the best prompts, the best prompts can be found, and, and a complete list of the prompts can be found in, in the membership area. But if we take a look at this one, we'll create a topic cluster for, and then once again, we're gonna use our example, uh, fitness for men over 40, like that and it's gonna give us topics to consider. Now we can take this and apply it right into our marketing. We could create TikTok videos about the benefits of, of fitness for men over 40. We could say, hey, are you having problems walking up the stairs? If yes, here are four benefits of getting in shape if you're over 40. Boom, we've got benefits, uh, strength training, how to strength train for men over 40, or what most people don't understand about strength training as a 40 year old. You could create content in each one of these. We could even turn this, we'll say, turn into a short email. Or we could even say, turn this into a, an email sequence. Let's do that. We're going to, uh, we're gonna go back up to create a topic cluster for men over 40, and then we're gonna say, convert into an email sequence topic for, for men over 40 and convert into a five day email sequence like that. So um, this is the email, we're gonna hit enter here and I'm actually going to put all of these examples in a Google Doc and that Google Doc will also be available in the membership area but look at this. Day one, benefits of fitness for men over 40. Day two, 
strength training. Now, you might want to have ChatGPT elaborate on some of this a little bit, but this is a good starting point. I like to use ChatGPT as a starting point and not necessarily to be the whole thing, okay? Um, the next one we're going to look at, and this is actually going to turn out to be more than just 10, but the next one that we want to look at is going to be create a list of social media ideas for a company. So once again, I'm going to paste it in like this. Create a list of social media ideas for a company. Create a list of, we're going to say TikTok, TikTok video ideas for a company for, let's say for affiliate, uh, affiliate marketers that are promoting a, uh, we'll say weight loss product to men over 40. And we'll just spell the words correctly here, just like that. And when we hit enter, boom, here are a list of different ideas that we could, we could actually create videos about. Uh, before and after transformation videos, those always work very well on social media. Short and sweet recipe videos, very, very engaging videos. Workout demonstration videos, product review, testimonial, challenge videos, education. These are, this is a really good result. This is really, really good. And as an affiliate, you create this content and then you can add a call to action. You know, if you want a free checklist or something like that, and there's one other one that I want to cover real quick. Um, but this is a great, great way to get up and running. The last one that I want to show you, it's a bonus, is we'll do a lead magnet ideas. Now I can just hit lead magnet ideas and chat GPT is going to know that I've been talking about fitness this entire time. Uh, we could say lead magnet ideas for uh, men over 40 looking to looking to lose weight like that. And it's going to come up with some great ideas for us. And again, I'm going to put all of this, all of these examples into a Google doc so that you can see them. And they're going to be added to my House of Affiliates membership. Again, it's $7 per month, cancel any time, but these, be between the examples and the different prompts, this should help you alleviate any fears, any frustrations, any whatever it is that you've got going on that's preventing you from making money online, that's preventing you from being successful, this tool can help you. Now I want to emphasize, it's a tool. It is not your entire marketing campaign and it should not be your entire, entire marketing campaign. It should be used to assist you. Now that you have seen those 10 best chat GPT prompts to help you make money online, click the first link in the description for my free affiliate marketing planners. Those planners are gonna help you plan and organize your affiliate marketing business so that you can make more money online. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to download your planners today. Watch this video next because YouTube says it will help you grow your online business.